Alrighty guys, it has been a hot minute since I've seen you all and now my phone is ringing and I'm out of practice. I'll see you guys in just a minute. Alrighty guys, it has been a minute since I've seen you all. Sorry, I was so busy and work has been crazy, so I do apologize. But we are back today. We have a good mashup for you. I actually have a pretty unique one. Today we have Taste of the Wild Salmon Puppy. All right, it's their holistic salmon formula, their fish formula for, for puppies. First, one of the most unique, common, I would say, foods used by breeders, which is health extensions. So this is puppy versus puppy, and we'll see how this one goes, all right? I'll see you guys on the other side. Let's get down and dirty as always. Deuces. Alrighty, as always, I brought in the new segment talking about the ingredients. So let's go ahead and talk about the ingredients for Taste of the Wild. And there you go. We have salmon, white fish meal, sweet potatoes, potatoes, peas, pea protein, canola oil, tomato paste, smoked salmon, salmon, salmon meal, natural flavoring, salmon oil, salt, chloridine, and blah, 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 blah. Alrighty, so there's the basic of that. And now let's go to the health extensions. This is the chicken and duck formula, or chicken meal formula. And uh, let's go ahead and dive into that one. First we have our, uh, ingredients. It says deep bone chicken, chicken meal, ground rice, oatmeal, chicken fat preserved with toxic, I can't even pronounce that word lamb meal, uh, fish, fish meal, flaxseed oil, coconut, dried beet pulps. Uh, yeah, it all sounds pretty, pretty legit, pretty good. Let's see how the three hour breakdown shows us and then I'll see you guys after the mashup. All right, as always, let's get down to it. Alrighty guys, so we are back at it. Today we are going to do uh, Taste of the Wild Pacific Stream Puppy Formula Smoked Salmon. This is the salmon version of the Taste of the Wild versus Health Extensions, which is a very popular breed amongst one of our local pet stores here called Pet Land. They tend to promote that food as the breeder's choice. Two cups of water from the Trusted Eagles Glass. And someone made a request that I actually measure the lime juice. So I am measuring with one fourth of a teaspoon of lime juice, which is about the same that I did before, but now it's measured equally. Alrighty guys, see you on the other side. Deuces. So after the three hours, I'm gonna say I'm actually very impressed with health extensions, um, but on certain some things. All right, first thing I did notice, I will show you the picture of the bubbles. So I'll put that up there. There were a lot of bubbles in the health extension, um, and I don't know why, because it doesn't make sense to me. Because the bubbles come from gases inside the food. And then as the gases break down, they create bubbles at the top of the water. I get that. But normally that happens when the food doesn't break down. Well, this food actually broke down really well. Look at that. For the first time, we're actually able to see the top of the glass. All the food is down here. Now, 
if I do circle around, there is a large ring around the top there of uh, remnants of fat. So, yeah, you know, I don't know. There's no corn, wheat, or soy in this, but yeah, that's a pretty distinct ring. And there are several bubbles still on the top here. So, you know, that, I mean, that food breaks down really well in a dog's stomach, probably really good for a puppy with sensitive stomach in a sensitive situation. Um, that's probably ideal for that versus Taste of the Wild that was just fantastic. Everything floated um, and no expansion, whereas that one, the food all expanded and crumbled, which is still good, but this has no expansion whatsoever, no real buildup. It is actually just digesting nicely in the dog's stomach. Um, no real ring around the top. And you know, I still, as always, taste the wild, man. That stuff's just fantastic. And you know, I'm gonna have to give this one a taste of the wild, but it's closer than I really thought it was gonna be because I really did not see the that value in that breaking down. I mean, look at that. That is just fantastic how well this food broke down. But you know, at the end of the day, it's the bubbles. It's the bubbles. It all come back to the bubbles. I don't understand it. I don't know about the bubbles. If you have a dog food that you want me to do a mashup with, or you have need some advice, let me know. Put in the comments below what you think you you should be feeding your dogs, or what you want me to test out for you. If you have questions about dog food, please go ahead and put in the comments below. And of course, as always, please smash that subscribe button, letting me know that you are someone who wants to learn more about your dog's health. And I have tons of videos coming about product reviews this week and next. And then I think I'm back on the road again. I don't know. So we'll see. Hopefully I get a few done for you. I'll see you guys next time. Everyone have a great week. Deuces!